here's how to make the string art wall hanging that's in your winter holiday craft kit. This is an example of the finished project that I made with one of our templates that we included, but you can also design your own with any kind of design, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So in your kit, you will have received a wooden wall hanging plaque. It has a little string on the top to hang your finished project. You will also get a pack of nails like this, these little brad nails. Now we did not include a hammer. You're gonna have to find a hammer from the toolbox to do this project. In your uh, kit, you'll also have uh, a couple of balls of colored twine in random colors. Now for this project, you can also use any kind of yarn, string, embroidery floss, or even sewing thread that you might have around the house to add to your project. Now this little mysterious thing, this little foam piece is important because we're gonna be using this as a nail holder to nail our nails into our wooden plaque. And this makes it a little bit easier to handle the little tiny nails. We're going to be protecting our work surface today with uh, something that will keep the nails from scratching our tabletop. So I have a scrap piece of wood. Now at home, an adult can help set up a work area where you have a scrap piece of wood, cardboard, or a kitchen cutting board would be a good way to protect your tabletop. So let me show you how to get started creating your own design. Now in your kit, we have included two different patterns. So we have different sizes of hearts and different sizes of stars. If you want to, you can use one of these designs to make your project. What you would do is you would take your piece of grid paper, you're gonna find the top of it, and you're gonna line up your design. I wanna make sure that it's centered on my plaque. Now what you can do with one of these patterns is that you can nail your nail straight through the grid paper here. I'm gonna put a little bit of tape to keep this in place. So I don't wanna start this one because my project is gonna have a different design, but if you want to use one of these paper patterns, you take your nail. Here's how to use that little nail holder. I'm gonna put the nail in that little split part of my foam and now look, I can hold it flat while I nail it down. So if you wanna use one of these patterns, the grid is going to show you that you need to put your nails about as wide as the grid marks there. That's gonna be about a half an inch. So you would nail your nails all the way around the edge of your paper, straight through your paper. Let me show you how you can create your own design and then I'll show you exactly how to nail the nails in. Now you can think of any type of design that you might want to do for your project. I will suggest that you make your design fairly simple without a lot of little tiny details in it. It'll really come out better if it's a bold and simple design. Something that works out really great are letters. So if you're making this as a gift for someone, you could do their initial letter for the first letter of their name. I'm gonna show you how to do a large initial letter R because my son's name is Rowan and it starts with an R. So I'm gonna use a pencil and I'm gonna sketch in my R. I'm gonna do like a big block letter. So I'm gonna do each part of my R three blocks wide like this. I'm gonna sketch it in. See how I'm filling a lot of the space? I'm gonna fill up a lot of my board. I'm gonna make that part of the R. See how the grid helps you make a nice block letter? One, two, three. And then I'm gonna outline this with my marker so that I can see my line really well. I'm gonna actually do that on the flat part of the table because that board has ridges on it. So I'm gonna take my marker 
and I'm gonna go over my pencil lines. Now you don't have to do a letter. If you wanted to do that outline of an animal or uh, an abstract design, sometimes these string art pictures look amazing if you just make it an abstract arrangement of different shapes. You can be really, really creative. And if you wanna see some ideas for string art, you can look on the internet, on Pinterest. You can find all kinds of fun ideas. You could print off clip art if you're able to do that. But I'm gonna do this black letter R. So let's get started transferring our pattern to our wood plaque. So I'm gonna center it. You can see that the grid paper goes a little bit off the sides. So I'm gonna find the middle here just by eyeballing it. And then I'm gonna use some little bits of tape and I'm gonna tape my pattern right in place so it doesn't move. Cause we're gonna be hammering the nails directly through our paper pattern. And that's gonna keep everything really straight. So let me show you again how to use our handy nail holder. These nails that we're using are really small, so sometimes if you try to put them in place, your fingers get in the way. So our nail holder, I'm gonna slip my nail into that little slit there, so that holds it steady. Now I'm gonna start my nailing right at the corner here of where my lines intersect there. I'm gonna hold it with my holder, and now tap, 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 I'm gonna give my nail three little taps, then it was a bit wobbly. So I'm gonna give it another hit until it stays in place. You want your nail to be sticking about halfway out of your wood because we're gonna be wrapping twine around it. So I'm gonna use my nail holder again and I'm going to find my next place where my lines are that's going to help me get my nails straight and lined up. Now you don't have to use our nail holder, but I find that it helps a lot, especially with children, because these small nails can be really a hassle to hold with your fingers. And if you happen to get one a little crooked, you can use your nail, your nail, your hammer to straighten it out a little bit. So I'm gonna go all the way around my design, adding nails wherever I have a grid line. This is about a half inch around. Now I've got all my nails nailed in around my design. Now here are a couple hints about a successful string art design. You're gonna want to make something that has space inside of the shape. For instance, if I had done a letter R and just had a row of nails, that wouldn't make a very successful picture because we're going to be filling in all this area with our string. So no matter what you design, it needs to be an outline shape that has some kind of space inside it. Now, if you have an inner space, like the inside of my R here, you're gonna to wanna to think about how you put those nails in so that it's easier for you to get in. So I came and did this part and then filled in the rest of it and then came around the edge and did the rest of my nails. It's just a lot easier to plan where you put your nails so that you're not squeezing in trying to get into tight spaces. Now in a design, it helps to have some areas that might overlap or intersect. So if I wanted to, I could add another overlapping design like a heart that overlaps part of my R or I could have something that crosses it. This is a part where you can experiment if you want to. Any part of this project, if you wind the yarn or string around and you decide that you wanna change it, very easy to undo it and do it again. So now that I've got all my nails pounded in, what I'll do is I'm gonna untape my paper, and now I'm going to just tear my paper away from my nails. And it may not come off in one piece. You might have to go back and pull a few little bits of paper away. This one is 
coming off pretty clean. Look at that. I got it off in one piece. Now you can see I've got my outline of my letter R. So what should I fill it in with? So I'll look through my string here. I'm going to choose to use, oh, I said a gray. I'm gonna do it in my gray string. So I will find the very end of my string here. Sometimes you have to rub on the edge of the ball a little bit to get to your edge of your, end of your string. Here's the end, finally found it. Okay, let's get started. So you're gonna find a place on your nail design to start your string. It really doesn't matter where. I'm going to start mine in the corner here. So what I'll do, I'm gonna loop my string around and I'm going to make a knot. Actually, I'm gonna do that up in the air. Make a little loop and then I'm gonna slip it around my nail, pull it tight. Now that it's tight, I'm going to put another knot in it to make sure it's really stuck on there good. I'm going to try to reach my chubby fingers in here and find the end. Ah. There it is. There. Okay, now my string is really well secured. I can come back later with scissors and I can clip this off. So now watch what we're going to do. This part is really fun. I'm gonna take my string and kind of put a little bit of tension on it with my two fingers here. And now I'm gonna wrap it around, crossing. See, I'm gonna hook it on that nail like that. I'm gonna come back over here. You can do this any way you want. You can zoom all around and cross it across any way that you want because eventually we're gonna fill it all in. But the direction that you do it can be random. So you can have a lot of fun zooming around in different directions, crossing your string until you have your whole design filled in. Now you can use multiple colors. If you have a, a design, like say maybe it's a strawberry that has a green top on it, you can use the red string to fill in the body of the strawberry and the green string just to do the top of the strawberry. So see how it's starting to fill in and look a little bit more like a letter? Let me come over here and I'll do this leg of my letter R. Now eventually, after you zoom around and fill in the inside, you're gonna go and wrap around the edges of your design to make a nice edge. So I will show you how that works. And you can make this as thinly or thickly filled in as you want. I like how these look when they've got a lot of thread filling in the inside of the design. And you might need to use your fingers in a pincer grip like this to get in there in some of your tight areas where it's hard to get your string to latch on. And remember, you can turn your piece as you work. I'm going to turn mine around so and look at it the other way. So I'm happy with uh, my string crossing here. So I find this process really relaxing and fun to do. But if you happen to drop your string, remember you can just pick up where you left off. If you have to go away for a moment, here's something you can do. You can wrap your string around twice or three times until it doesn't catch, and then you can just set it down and come back later. You might notice that there are certain areas of my design that I didn't fill in. The center of my R here and in between the legs of my art. You're gonna to have to look at your design and make sure that you're not going to be filling in any of the areas that make it stand out. And as I go around and finish my edges, see how I'm wrapping around the edges here? That's making my design look even more identifiable as a letter R. The more that I fill in those edges. 
So I'm just gonna go back and forth all the way around. If I wanted to change colors, I could. If I wanted to uh, do part of my design in one color, part in another color, I could do that. And sometimes I'm going around more than one nail at a time as I'm going back and forth. And if any of your nails happen to be loose when you're wrapping your string around, you can grab that hammer and give them a little tap to make sure that they don't pull out. Because you're going to want to have this be very steady. Oops. I find this to be really meditative and very satisfying to finish one of these projects. So when I get to the end, I'm going to cut my string and I'm going to carefully make a knot pulled around a random nail, just whichever one I get to for the end, and I'm going to make a double knot there so I'm sure that it does not come undone. Now I can use my scissors and I can trim off the little edge of that string and I can trim off the edge of the string where I got started. And my string art wall hanging is done. I hope you'll really enjoy doing this project. It's a lot of fun. Uh, and if you want to get inspiration and ideas, just look up string art on the internet and you can see all the incredible uh, artwork that people have done just with nails and string. Thank you.